So You Mean to Tell Me, this is episode five. So on this episode, y'all, I got two special guests that I'm going to let introduce themselves. Yo, it's M-O-N, mine, don't mispronounce it, pass that thing to my dog. You already know what it is, it's your boy 1KJ Official. Indeed, we all the season for Dally, y'all. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, now, I appreciate the- y'all for coming on. And at the end of this episode, I am going to announce the giveaway winner. So if you enter the giveaway for the self-care mystery box, you will be announced at the end of this episode. So stay tuned. Okay. If you, win. you know, you know. You said so, run the pockets if you win. Yeah, for the winner, you got to run them pockets. I'm the winner. Indeed. This episode is going to be about trauma. Everything trauma related. So from childhood trauma, from trauma responses, from generational curses, all of that. So I actually want to start with the generational curses. I want to ask y'all, is there anything that y'all grew up with that you feel like is toxic or unhealthy behavior that was passed down? I would say mine would be like over isolation. Mm. As far as just like being to yourself almost too much to the point where you almost alienating people. I think that's been like a consistent like theme in my life due to probably trust issues for the most part. But I would hope not to give that to my kids. I think by the time I have children, I think I at least like lock in that idea. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm afraid of that. Maybe passing on to them. We may not bond as much. I see it in my family sometimes. So is that isolation something that you're aware of or is it something that you're actively working on right now to try to get better at? Uh, it's something that I'm aware of as far as, like, I know I do it. I know I like being to myself. Because to be honest, people be annoying sometimes. Mm-hmm. Boy, you ain't and it don't, even, it don't even be nothing that really, like, they doing. It just may not even be the mood for that right now. You feel me? I definitely feel that. So, I can definitely, like, know that I'm aware of it. And I guess, like, a way of me, um trying to like change is just like trying to be more active or more expressive or even more responsive to a certain thing just I don't know trying to take the initiative that I guess connect but, what about you Jay um dang cause mom really took mine um well, dang. yeah that's that's like the major that's like the number one we thing. blood for real yeah that's like the number one thing man over isolation I do it's like that here I be upstairs I go to work and come home, be upstairs. Mm-hmm. My mama be in the room all day. My stepdad be at work. He come home, he be in the room. I was like, dang, like nobody talking to each other. We don't even eat at the table. Everybody just go get their food and eat in the room. Right, bro. Right. I always said, like, if I do have like a family, that's something that I think I want to do. Oh, My yeah. kids gonna be mad right now. We Mandatory. sitting at the table. But they right. gonna learn from a young age, so it's not going. I think they just gonna grow into it. Right. Yeah. You know? Cause I also and reflect. I want. I, I want guess to... like keeping that up. Go ahead. My fault. Nah, you good. Go ahead. I was gonna say. I guess something like that. Kind of like you have to start that when you young. Know, for real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like like so it can feel normal to them. Like they. I want them to grow up and believe that stuff like that is normal. Like you just don't. Right. Not spend time with your family. Like it's just like I. I could understand because. We do all have a lot going on in life, and sometimes it's just best for people to be alone, but at the same time, it's not healthy. Right. Right. For what me, about you? I would say mine is probably working too hard. Like, my mama, mm. she was a single mom, so Ooh, my that, mama, yeah. she got to it. Shout she out worked the clock, the clock ain't work her, you feel me? My mama was always getting to it, so with me, I work a lot. Like, I always go to work because I want to be able to have it myself. I don't want to have to ask nobody to to give it to me. And I feel like that becomes a problem because you don't spend a lot of time with your loved ones and you don't have a lot of time for yourself. And I just feel like sometimes I don't know how to, like, balance the working and the peace, you know? Yeah. That's definitely understandable. No, I get that. Like, you definitely have to find... um, you definitely have to find like a balance between I guess like chasing your goals and yet at the same time like living your life mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. cause some people they make their job almost their life for real they, exactly and that's what I ain't trying to do I, y'all about to say as a kid like just the idea cause they always make it like sad in the movies like you got the job that you want but you miserable 
Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? But I don't want to, you feel me, be miserable at all. At least, like, if I got to live on here, if Trump will be president, if COVID out here, if gas $4, I ain't trying to be miserable. That's how I see it. Facts. So how y'all feel about So how y'all feel about Like having different Different responses To different things like I have several different Like I feel like I have several different Trauma responses like If somebody yells at me I just shut down Oh you mean like triggers Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think in order to like you got to have been through something in order to know your triggers, for real. Facts. Like, it's a reason why it's a trigger. So, I think, like, you're asking exactly, like, how do, like, we respond to them? Mm-hmm. What is that or what, what are some things that make you, you know what I'm saying, respond? Like, for me, if somebody yells at me, like, I get that from my mom. My mom, she was a yeller, like. Right. She get up, start nagging, start yelling, clean this, clean that, da da da. Like right. she didn't know how to talk to somebody without yelling. And I feel like growing up, I kind of took that on. Like my response to somebody yelling at me is, "I'm gonna just shut down. I'm not gonna say anything at all." No, I get that. Like I get that. Yeah, I think yelling is probably a lot for a lot of people because it's like. Mm-hmm. Like, you only really got yelled at, and this is us looking back on it, but you only got yelled at if you really, like, messed up for real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and then sometimes parents do just be nagging, but, like, that's how they supposed to be because it may be something that they want you to care about in the future that they implementing now, for real. Like, even my mama, she be telling me, like, clean up my room, or she used to tell me, like, clean up my room and all that, just get distressed at how old, dirty it was, even though it's just laundry from yesterday. Literally just laundry, baby. Od. But then now, now that I'm older, it's like I do be looking at my room like, damn, I need to clean. No bad. Mm-hmm. So I can understand why like something like that was just implemented. Like it's certain, it's a certain mood that you get in once you know that like your room clean. It's a, it's better appealing. To the oh yeah, it definitely makes you feel just better. Yeah. So I think uh, to answer the question, the throw in like a different one. One of mine that's like a trigger. I don't like being misunderstood. Mm. Like if I'm trying to explain something to you, I just hope for you to like be able to put two and two together for real. You don't have to agree with it, but I just want you to like understand it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I think that's probably because as like a kid, you ain't really allowed to respond like that. That's facts. You supposed so, to just listen. You supposed to just take it. You feel me? You just gotta sit there with your thoughts. So I think like me sitting there all the time and just not being able to like that's probably why I isolate too now I don't think about it but um mm-hmm. all this stuff be tying together oh everything so I guess once I like learn to just like be able to sit with myself and tell those like thoughts I guess it was just like okay I know exactly why I bloated this or I know exactly why I did this you start figuring yourself out for real and then once you get to that point once you tell that to somebody uh, once you tell that to somebody it's like you feel me like if you don't get it like bro I know I ain't explaining this wrong you feel me mm-hmm. so yeah that's kind of how I feel about like you, you ever like have somebody ask you and they be like huh huh and then you just say never mind yeah like, bro. I don't like repeating my that's story. like one of the most annoying things ever mm-hmm Man, mm-hmm. nah, bro. You hung me too many times. I'm over with. Nah, I don't even care about it no more. Exactly. Really, you just, I just now wanted, you just doing too much. Really, I just wanted you to hand me that paper right there, but nope. Let me go ahead and get him into it. We good. You got one, Jay? Yeah, I um, I see dissociation. Like, mm-hmm. okay. Sometimes, like things like I know I've been through in life like sometimes like I just like my emotions Mm -hmm. it's like it takes now it takes so much like from like my my like like, real true emotions like it's one thing like you you know my like we we might debate or whatever so you know that that gets of course that gets like I intense in a way but like when like things happen to me it's like Statement. I now just look at it like it's just like it is what it is. Mm. So, 
like kind of detaching from it yeah like it's just like man it is what it is like i just you know like i gotta really be like have a strong feeling for something for me to just react in the opposite way and just be like all right like nah like i need to fix this because it's something i care about you know what i'm saying no i get that stuff happens it's just like man it is what it is like life gonna keep going because what people don't understand is like even when people say like oh my my life stopped like Right. It didn't stop. Like it just it's just you're going through the motion. You got to how you're feeling. Yeah. It's well, like what kind of um what kind of race that is? The hurdles? That's how life is. Yeah. So it's like, man, I I'll just sometimes it take I I you know, it takes me to like say to myself, all right, like listen, like, yeah, that happened, like. You know, it's gonna be all right. It's okay to feel, you know, some some type of way. Cause you know, society already been built as especially black man, young black mm-hmm. men at that. Like, you know, for us to not show emotion or as weak to show emotion and all this other stuff. So it's like, you know, everybody got feelings. We were made human. Like, right? How can someone say, "Oh, you're weak if you feel this type of way"? When we're all made the same way, we're all made to feel. We're all made. To and exactly, feel. we're made to feel like. For real. But it can get it, it can get you know it can get tricky because like I said, although I believe that like I, I as you you can see I'm I tied myself into stuff like that still. Right. I think that ain't no that ain't no issue. We always um, you know suffer from those things that we suppress the most. I think that shows like the growth as far as in the way that you respond to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facts. That's what it's all about. Because you always gonna be hurting is how you decide to manage that afterwards. Exactly. There's even certain people they just gotta cry it out. Certain people thug it out. Certain people know exactly how much to suppress and how much mm-hmm. to let go. It's it's all a process. It ain't no correct way of doing it. It's only what works for you. In my opinion. I agree. So, this brings me to our final topic, y'all. Y'all got any... Well, this really all connects together, but this is just specifically childhood trauma. Like, any trauma growing up that's really messed with you. I know me personally, like, I've grown up with insecurities about how I look or insecurities about how I walk or how I talk because people have made comments. People have made comments... I mean, I'm 22 years old. They probably said something to me when I was 11, when I was 10. And I can that still remember, you know what I'm saying? It still hurt. Right. So is there anything that, like, y'all been through or y'all went through that still bothers you today? And if so, like, how are you How are you dealing with it? I'm trying to think. One that still bother me today. I think I'll be wanting... I think I have, like, at least this, like, mentality or, like, this certain, like, mood that I'm always in to try to prove myself Mm. as far as like even you can even say like just like growing up becoming like a young adult trying to make that trying to make that transition from young nigga to man for real you feel me right and it's not the easiest of transition because it's new it's responsibility it's things and that it's expectation now you know what I mean Mm -hmm. and even with that or having to prove myself in school when I was younger um trying to prove myself in like little league sports or even to a certain extent sometimes even being comfortable with being yourself as far as just like being in certain social settings and things of that nature just I'm always in that mood to feel like I gotta prove myself I gotta say the funniest joke I gotta be the coolest person right now Mm-hmm. And not necessarily cool as in like the stereotypical like making fun of motherfuckers and like that. Just like feeling like, you know, I'm proud of this body that I'm in and like I'm proud to be the person that I am. But I feel like all that stems from maybe as a child not feeling as if maybe like good enough at certain stuff, whether mm-hmm. it was school, it was always somebody smarter than me. Or in sports, it was always somebody who was faster, could do this, could do that. It was just better. You know what I mean? And I think that's probably one of my biggest like traumas maybe at least from childhood but you know what you saying that is crazy how of trauma but in a sense like looking at the brighter side of it like at least like now you want the best for yourself you know you're striving for exactly you see what 
you know, maybe other people don't see in your so you don't need nobody right. else's validation for real. So that's that's a good thing. You definitely gotta trap out your traumas mm-hmm. for sure. That yeah, for sure. What about you, Jay? Um, I say like, well, I don't want to say that because that kind of sound bad. No, say. <laughs> like, as long as it's, wanna, not, it's just not, it's just not the right word. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to find another right. word because I, don't, I don't want to say un. I say underappreciated. Like, I, I don't know why, but like, I feel like, like, I always like, you know, I always try to do my best for with everything. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like when it's not a, like when I used to be little, like I used to do certain things and it just felt like it wasn't good enough or it mm-hmm. didn't stand out. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, you just getting the job done or just getting by. But it's like, um, you know, I'm trying, like trying. This, to be this is a lot for me type shit. Yeah. yeah. Like trying to me is everything. Right. Mm-hmm. I'll take someone trying over like anything, bro, because. You're not going to, somebody who's giving you a 100% effort, it's not going to take long for them to understand. If you want, like, you know, if you want things a certain way, or no matter what it is, like, it won't take that person long because that person, you see the determination that person already has. Right. So it's right. Like, just, if you're just putting them in the right direction or trying to just get them to un- even understand where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? If y'all yeah. having a simple conversation, it's like, nah, like, okay, look at it like this or, you know, mm-hmm. like, that stuff like that, like it's it's small, but it always mattered to me. It's I get like, it. Like even even until now, but it'd be like now I kind of like I can control it better now because I'm older, of course. Right. And that's all that really mattered though is like the growth out of it. For real. Yeah. yeah as long as long as you can take the issues that you clearly see and can at least like get out of dwelling in them and look to how can I learn from them. That's how that matters. For real, for real. Yeah. I, that, that's facts, bro. This is a lot, man. Wait, 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 you got it any day? Oh, no, wait. You already... Never mind. <laughs> no, but I do want to I do want to close it off with, like, some words of wisdom for real. Because, first of all, I do appreciate y'all for sharing because it sounds easy, but it's really not. Like, it's hard talking about anything traumatic like even bringing those feelings up thinking about those feelings speaking on those feelings sharing those feelings like right. that's a lot so I do really appreciate y'all for even agreeing to come on here and share y'all thoughts and share y'all ideas because I really hope that you know somebody listening is like dang I feel the same way like and I'm glad I'm not alone so the whole point of this is like for people to know they not by themselves for people to know like you're not the only ones feeling this way and to know that like it's normal you know like, that, yeah, having feelings yeah. is normal yeah, like it ain't, it ain't. It's hard being a human sometimes. Like, and that's mm-hmm. okay. That that's what the job. That's what the job requires. Right. For those well, like that say, with great power come great responsibility. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> come on, not Peter it's Parker. Just, God, yeah, me. man, y'all folks, man, don't 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 try and be so hard all the time, man. Don't like, it ain't gonna get you nowhere, man. Life already and then you gone. Gonna, you gonna show emotion anyway, cause you're gonna get to that breaking point and just unleash all hell. But there's no sense of going going through all that. You know what I'm saying? Just just you know, if you're feeling away, you're feeling away. Like it doesn't make you no weaker or no less. It doesn't make you look be no less than anybody. Like you're human. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you so no different than glass. You go You can't look at you can't look at life always in the eyes of society, man. You gotta live like no different you just glass. Gotta, and half of society don't even got they shit together so exactly exactly people just and a lot of people they just be they just be hating for real or they just be yeah. putting off how they feel because you know every nobody has it all together so you can't sit here and criticize me and critique me about every little thing when you don't want nobody critiquing you exactly it's a lot of projection but they don't want to hear that they don't but don't but, miss out on your entire life focusing on the bad life moment. Like I feel like that's the biggest takeaway from trauma. Like it is a bad thing and it's always gonna be a bad thing and it's always gonna hurt. But don't let that that thing ruin your future. Exactly. Period. Cause, Cause look, you gotta do it the time that you got left that you couldn't do it the time you had. Mm. I heard that now. 
You got to. You got to. If you can make a New Year's resolution every year, you can take a step forward every year. That's exactly. Awesome. Just one step. Hey, Come Siri. On. Hey, Siri, put Slow on Preach by Mars. Is still <laughs> you feel me? Put on Preach by Mars, Siri. Nah, ain't it? Um, yes, run sir. that back one time. Indeed. Now, we want to hear from y'all, too. So, leave your reviews. You feel me? Give my girl five stars. Right. Not four, like some people me but you know um Damn. <laughs> who left four stars I did no belt I ain't like I did it by accident yeah the mom I, I was real into stars, y'all. imagine that's on me bro if she had that perfect 5.0 that's on me my fault my yeah bro. he done brought your girl to a 4.8 y'all so y'all gotta get me back to at least a 4.9 so indeed yeah go on. We, you already know what it is five stars man y'all already see it on my page best pen I cast out in the world and stop playing and also, let's get let, to this giveaway. My fault, my fault. I was gonna say. Also, y'all let y'all y'all let us know how y'all feel about y'all. You know, what I'm saying certain traumas, or even how this episode yes. may have helped or affected you in the reviews. Yes, please do. And 100. also, at the end of the episode, it does have a poll, so you can share your thoughts, your opinions, and you can add like your traumas there. You could do it anonymously if you're not comfortable. Like everything, that's cool. We're we love hearing other people's ideas, other people's perceptions. Like, I brought two special guests this time because more perceptions, the better. Like, I want to hear y'all ideas. I want to hear your views. Everything is about you. It's about us. So, we're going to keep growing and glowing, y'all. Indeed. In fact, 100. All right, y'all. Y'all ready to spin the wheel? <laughs> I was thinking about the drum roll, and I am reading the Spin? Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going to do another spin, y'all. I'm about to say, I'm about to do another spin. all the requirements. See. How she's spinning on the wheel, I don't know. Let's spin again. Drum roll. If it ain't on the goat, then it don't matter. All right, Camille Faith. Woo! Go on, run that gift, Camille. Yes, Camille Faith is the real winner. Yeah, you you know, I'm gonna repo that gift. I'm 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 telling you, (laughs) I'm feeling, I'm feeling generous. You know, I'm feeling nice. I probably will have two winners. So we have Damon and we have Camille as the winners of our giveaway. Damon, you get fat because you family. Camille, run the gift. Yeah, (laughs) fat. All right, we well, thank you for having us on, Deja. We appreciate yeah, we definitely you allowing appreciate us it. to come on your platform and, you know, talking thing, talking jive and things of that nature. Thank so, y'all yeah, for appreciate coming. you. I appreciate, appreciate the you. opportunity. Y'all go listen to the best podcast in the world. The number one podcast, The Roll Up To. And that's stamped by your boy, and 1KJ that's official. So you mean to tell me. Indeed. We out. Until next time. Peace out.